Hi, uh, West Coast Custom Concrete with another video. Um, this video is on a retaining wall, about 60 foot wall. Um, I got out here, a family friend called me. I guess they had somebody else out here and I don't know what happened, but other people left the job. So I came out here to do the wall and um, whoever dug it, dug it wrong and they put the um, rebar in wrong and they stacked all the dirt in front. So I had to bring my mini out to, to move all the dirt that they put in front there so I can get access to the footing. I was gonna dig it with my mini here. So I'm just moving the dirt. It was about 10 yards of dirt. I, I stockpiled it at the end of the driveway there. And then it was super wet in there and clay. I was gonna try and get horizontal with the, with the hillside there and um, dig it straight, but I got stuck in there a couple of times. I barely got out. So I just dug it from the top this way. I got it pretty clean and we, it didn't take long. Probably the Javier is in there getting the, um, the level there. I just dug it from the top and you, you, we could get it pretty good. It was 36 inches wide and that's the, the bucket size. So I was going to try and get in there perpendicular and do it, but I couldn't. So I did it from the top and I just stockpiled all the dirt with the other dirt at the end of the driveway. So when I backfill it, we got it pretty cleaned up and then we had to pull the, the rebar was half buried. So it made it a lot harder than if we would have just dug it fresh from the start, we had to pull all the old rebar out. And I, um, I dug this footing so it was exactly 10 yards so I didn't have to get a cleanup. And I pumped it high up on the footing to make sure that it stacked up there. And then I had 10 yards. And then when I had extra before the um, load was over, I came back and filled the front end. And it, it was perfect. We used number four. It's retaining that hillside there. And um, they wanted me to do a 36 inch uh, retaining wall and then come back in um, a couple months and stack it the other three feet or four block, whatever we're doing. It's a split phase, eight by eight by 16. Makes a sturdy block wall. I'm not a block wall guy. I've only done a couple of them. And um, it's not that hard. I mean, anyone can figure it out. I mean, it's not what I want to do. I'd rather do the monies and the flat work, you know? And I, I did this wall because they're going to have me do the driveway in a month or two. And it's about a 5,000 square foot driveway at $12 a square foot. That's, you know, that's like, $55,000 driveway. So I came and did this wall for him and it was a mutual benefit <clears throat> price wise. We put two pilasters across the driveway cause they're going to put a, a gate electric gate and they're going to have um, led lights up on top. So we ran the, the electrical conduit for him across the driveway to the other pilaster and stuck it out the pilaster. You just got to make sure it's dead center of the pilaster so when they um, put the light on top it's centered we ran number fours inside the wall too this is my man javier doing the wall I've, I've done a lot of jobs with him and we've never done a wall i asked him do you know how to do walls and he said yeah and sure enough he's good at that too He does uh, Orange County in Los Angeles. If you um, are in those areas, his numbers on the end of the video. I only serve Orange County. <clears throat> we did this in about, I think, three days. We pulled all the rebar they had put in there, redug it. We uh, pumped the footing, and then I came back the following day after the wall was up and grouted it. But these walls are not really what I want to do. <laughs> You know, I'm the kind of guy that doesn't want to go get engineered for retaining wall um, inspections. I'd rather just bring my equipment and knock out flat work and do that. But this worked out pretty good. I mean, when you have equipment and you're good on it, you can um, dig it out. And you don't need just him and I there, so there's no problem. Here I am grouting the wall. I just use a, a 2500 PSI, and I put the Zypex in it to waterproof it. And no water will go through this wall. We put weep holes at the bottom of the of the um, wall. Here's my assistant, Kristen. I didn't know that pilaster was that high. She does my filming and editing and all my um, internet stuff. But if I need help, she'll drop the camera and pull the hose or help me whatever I'm doing. And I brought my case, my bigger tractor to backfill, backfill the wall. It's got a big bucket on it, 67 inch bucket. I had to backfill was about seven, eight yards and grade this whole area right here. I'm going to be pouring this whole driveway in a month or so, but they wanted to park cars there now. So 
I graded it and compacted it, backfilled the wall. So I just brought my my bigger tractor to do it. Just you can huge buckets. It took me like twenty minutes to backfill it. But you gotta have equipment because uh, you can wear the equipment out and replace it, but you can't replace your uh, back. So make sure you get equipment and learn how to run it. it. Makes it easy. Thank you very much.